Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. <clears throat> now very recently, the UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination has come out and strongly, <laughs> to put it lightly, urged Japan to regulate hate speech by law and to basically eliminate it very strong statement they want it from top to bottom all the way through society they're saying Japan you need to deal with this they want it not only regulation by law ban it but also they want the Japan to address the root cause of racism racism within Japanese society through education and cultural understanding now why has this panel come out so strongly about this and said, Japan, you got to get this done, is due to the fact in recent years, although they've been doing it for longer, the rise of these far right-wing extremist fascist groups and taking really, really racist a actions and stances against Korean residents, especially. Uh, the rallies, they, they have these rallies here in Tokyo and various parts of Japan where they just come out with every racist, hateful thing they can say. And that only incites violence, both objective and subjectively, within society and fuels this hatred. And also this panel said Japan must address the soft term comfort women in Japan, which is basically wartime sex slaves. Women who were forced to have into sexual slavery for the pleasure and benefit of the Imperial Army. They said you gotta deal with that too. Which basically means come clean about it. You know, any politician or any leader or anyone who comes out and denies it, we have to create legislation to punish these people. So yeah, this is good, all right? Very good thing. But will the Japanese government follow suit and address this and deal with it properly? Well, this could go two ways here, right? Now, you would think it being the best interest of the current far-right government we have to address this and enact these laws and take these steps in order to save their own political ass. You know, because the bourgeois here in Japan have a history of not being able to play well with the rest of the international community. And every time the U Japan is taken to the UN, they, this is the type of rulings that come down. It's a basically, fuck you. You know, you're putting a monkey wrench in everything we're trying to accomplish. You're going to stop this. But they may not take action against this. They may say, screw it. Because the government here typically responds to a very stubborn attitude since Abe came to power for the second time, by the way. Towards anything the international community says, the best is screw you know, we're not going to do anything. So I think, sadly, what will force the government here to do it is not only this panel coming out and say what they've said, this committee, but one more violent, racist incident. One more thing. It's going to explode here. And something really, really extreme is going to happen. Korean residents and foreigners here in general are getting really, really tired of this situation. People come here, they make lives here, they settle down here, they're part of society, they pay into the system. And they're treated like this. You know, it's got to stop. And let's hope it doesn't come to the point that we need some crazy, violent outbreak based on this type of behavior to get to stop. But it may in fact happen. Depends on how far the government here in Japan wants to push this. How much they, more they think they can allow these far right wing groups to get away with. Because it keeps on getting worse and worse here. It doesn't get any better. You know, we have instances where they go down to the Korean parts of Tokyo, screaming a bunch of hateful shit and, and spark violent run-ins with people. And that, that's objective violence. And that just spurs object, subjective violence in the media and public figures and politicians get ballsy and come out and say he's crazy shit. That, you know, that sparks hatred within society. 
It doesn't allow any issues to really get settled. It doesn't allow society to meld properly. It keeps us all at each other's throats. So overall, it's just bad to let this keep going on. But yeah, if action isn't taken soon, the situation here is going to explode. Because eventually something's going to spark a really violent outbreak. People who are discriminated against and treated like crap are going to fight back in a really, really, really um, material way, real way. So yeah, Japan, it's time we dealt with this. It's time that we grow up. If you enjoyed this video, hey, there should be a try to get a clickable link here. Subscribe. You get lots of videos like this. And from time to time, maybe a little surprise or an extra. So until next time, this is me, John Dole, right here in Tokyo. Check it out.